Blank checks is all about trust. Trusting leaders to do the right thing, to take ownership, and yet be accountable for results. So how do these blank checks really work? There are three guidelines. The first is you select the leaders whom you really trust and the teams and give them a really big target. Let them dream big. And these targets have to be achieved in a very short period of time. The second is the leader and the team puts together a short business proposal asking for the resources that would be needed along with clear deliverables and milestones. The third guideline is to nurture these teams, make sure that they have an environment where they can succeed and then monitor progress against milestones. Let's take an example. Let's take the case of Oreo. Now, Oreo is the number one biscuit in the world by far. Oreo is over 100 years old. But for 95 years, Oreo was spectacularly unsuccessful outside the US. And certainly, certainly not for a lack of trying. So we called the Oreo team and we said, we know currently it's not doing well in countries like China and Indonesia and various other parts of the world. It's not doing well. Just figure out what do you want to do? What resources do you want to do? Take a blank check and go. And then they realized, why is it that it's not selling so well in various countries around the world like China? And they found that very often that the American Oreo was too sweet, too big. The price points were too different. And they started experimenting then with a number of different products like green tea Oreo, wafers. Half these products failed. And that was okay. That was really okay because the whole idea here was to give them freedom within the framework of keeping the Oreo essence core around the world, but then getting local products which delight local consumers. As a result of that blank check, Oreo went from a revenue of about $200 million outside the US to over a billion dollars in revenue in six years. More importantly, gross margins outside the US were very healthy. What are the lessons that one can learn from giving blank checks? And again, this is equally applicable to small companies and large companies. The first is you get people, you trust people to do the right thing and you make them act as owners. The second is that this signal of trust goes all over the organization of empowerment, but yet being accountable for results. And the third is not all blank checks succeed. Very often they fail because if everything is going well, something's horribly wrong. The important part there is if a blank check experiment fails, is not to penalize the leader or the teams, provided they've learned the lessons from the project. That again is a signal of trust. Trusting people always to do the right thing. And making sure then you celebrate not only successes, but also celebrate and learning from failures. Over years of experimenting with blank checks, we found that in companies, you have a choice. You can either be cozy or you can trust people and get them to fly.